What's going on guys? Welcome back to Watch With Us. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Anthony. I also go by Watch With Me. I can be found on Instagram at Watch With Me or even my own YouTube channel where I go over mostly watches, also a little bit of fashion and cars. Uh, if you haven't seen my channel yet, I'd appreciate it very much if you went and took a look. I'm even doing a giveaway at 500 subs. So if you like what you see, hit subscribe and you can win some cool watch swag. Before we get into my top five, of course, a wristwatch check. Today I am wearing my Rolex Submariner. It's become an absolute go-to of mine. I just think the fit, finish, and size is perfect. That's probably why it's one of the most iconic watches in the world, but enough of my watch. Let's get into the top five. All right, so if you're new to the Watch With Us channel and you haven't seen any of my top fives, before I go ahead and start, I just wanna let you know these are some of my favorite uh, top five watches. It doesn't mean that there is no other choices and there is nothing better. This is just my personal opinion. And today it's going to be on blue dial watches. A bit of a disclaimer, I really wanted to make a list of kind of unique blue dial watches that many people aren't talking about. So you will not see a Patek Philippe Nautilus 5711, 5712, 5726 on my list. You will not see an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak 15500. You will not see an F. Pigeon Chronometre Bleu on my list because these are unobtainable watches at the moment. And I want to give a cool list of watches that you can walk into almost any retailer and find it. Today we are at London Jewelers in Manhasset. Every watch on my list can be found there. So go ahead and stop on in. They are located in Manhasset on Long Island, also in the Oculus in New York City. And if you're out east on Long Island, you can even find them in the Hamptons. So here we are, number one on the list coming in at the most affordable price point on my list today is the Oris Aquas Diver. This is a limited edition for kind of save the ocean foundation. This particular piece, I just think, is an unbelievable blue color. I love the blue ceramic bezel. I think it goes really well with the blue dial. A lot of times when you have a blue ceramic bezel and a blue dial, they don't match quite well and they throw each other off. I think these two complement each other perfectly. Other than the fact that it's such a beautiful blue dial, it's under $2,500, it's a limited edition, and it actually has bits of plastic that they pulled out of the ocean in the case back. The size is just under 40 millimeters, which for someone with my wrist size, which is just under six and a half inches, it fits so well. It's a, it's a versatile watch. I think you can wear very well with a nice blue suit or even a swimsuit and everything in between. I think that's one of the benefits of a dive watch and why it's one of the number one styles of watches that people normally go with. So the first watch on the list is the Oris Aquas. I love it. I'm a big fan of what Oris is doing in the last couple years, and it's a fantastic watch. If you've seen one of my other videos on the green dial watches, the Oris Aquas also made it on that list. And now for my top five blue, again, the Oris Aquas. I love it. Oris, keep doing what you're doing. Number two on my list is the IWC Pilot Classic. I love a pilot's watch. I think IWC really perfected the look of a classic pilot's watch. It's very minimalist, very legible at 43 millimeters. It's a fantastic size. It's basically a Valjoux 7750 movement, but IWC went and remanufactured the movement, so it is an in house movement. This particular blue dial I just think is spectacular. This watch can be found for around $5,500. You're getting an in house chronograph movement, 43 millimeter sapphire crystal. 100% Swiss made, and now IWC even offers an eight year warranty. It's such a fantastic watch. And again, the reason why it's on this list, I think they did such a spectacular blue dial. You can see from the photos, it's just such a rich, stunning blue color. Although I think blue was kind of the it color for the last few years, and I think we're transitioning to green in the next few years, I think that this is such a beautiful blue color. It's a great price point, and that's why it's on my list. Let me know down below, what do you think of the IWC Pilot? Number three on the list is a pretty uh, unique watch, I think. Uh, a brand that I really didn't come into a full understanding of this brand for quite some time, but now I am head over heels of it. And it is the Grand Seiko SBGH273. 
a ridiculous name, but this is part of the Seasons Collection. They released four different watches, one for each season. This one happens to be for autumn. It's going back to that traditional size of 40 millimeters under 13 millimeters thick. No one does polishing like Grand Seiko. I can guarantee you that. I sat in on trainings with this brand and literally no one does polishing like them. They have a, a technology and a technique that no one else is using. If you compare their watch to any other watch they're polishing, is far and away from second place. And the reason why it's on the list is you can see from my video, it is such a spectacular blue color. I think anytime you have a high polished case, even though this one is mixed with brush, it complements a blue dial so well. And that's why it's on my list. Grand Seiko itself is just such an amazing brand that I don't think if, if you're really not in the know with watches, you don't appreciate this brand enough Every Grand Seiko movement is assembled by one watchmaker start to finish. You're really not getting that from uh, many brands out there. Also, it is obviously not a spring drive movement, but it is an automatic movement. So 3600 vibrations, uh, very high beat movement, completely in-house, spectacular. It's on my list. It's around $6,300. It's a slightly higher price point than some of the other watches on the list, but you can't go wrong with it. I fell in love with this brand and I can guarantee you a Grand Seiko will be in my collection one day. So the next watch is a pretty unique watch in the sense that many people don't talk about this brand and that's Piaget. Piaget is known for making precious metal watches. Piaget has only made precious metal watches for their whole existence. The first time they made a stainless steel watch was the introduction of the Polo collection and that's what we're talking about today. This is the Piaget Polo with a blue dial. I happen to have it on video with the strap, which is a great watch at $8,000. I personally would buy it on the bracelet. I think this blue with the texturing of it, and again, the complement of a high polish and brush case, I think it looks spectacular. Obviously, a complete in-house made movement from an extremely high-end brand that many people aren't talking about. You can wear this watch and be proud of having a very high-end, well-made, well-designed watch and you're not gonna see it on everyone's wrist. On the bracelet, it's just on the $10,000. So again, this is not a watch really for everybody, but if you are on this price point, give it a look, try it on, let me know what you think. I think it's a great watch, and it's a, it's a great alternative to let's just say a, a Patek Philippe Aquanaut or even a, a, a Nautilus at, you know what, at one third the price retail, and you could actually find these watches. Uh, it's a beautiful dial. I would love to know down below what you guys think. And last but not least, a very polarizing watch that love or hate, I happen to like it, and that is the Chopard Alpine Eagle. Now this watch was released just a few months ago. It has an integrated bracelet, very reminiscent of a 70s inspired watch. The one thing I don't really like about this watch is the Roman numerals, but I must say uh, the name Alpine Eagle really kind of identifies what they're going for in the dial. If you look at the dial, it's supposed to be paying homage to the eagle's eye. You can really see the texturing of it. Of it. And again, the reason why it's on this list is because this blue dial is so spectacular. This is the highest priced watch on the list at just around $13,000. Obviously a completely in-house made movement, sapphire crystal, um, very thin 41 millimeter case. Let's, let's just say for what it is, it's very much paying homage to a Gerald Genta design with the integrated bracelet. That doesn't mean it's a bad watch. I think it's a beautiful watch. It sits really well on the wrist and it's on this list because the dial is spectacular. If you haven't seen it, it's not an easy watch to, to find. From what I understand, they're only producing them in limited quantity for the first year. London Jewelers does happen to have it in the store, so you can go take a look. But that's really it, guys. That is my top five blue dial watches. Let me know down below what you think of them. Um, what are some watches that you would put on the list at a much higher price point or even a lower price point? I would love to read the comments and we can kind of figure out you know, what's what. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, like I said in the beginning, if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, it is Watch With Me. Let me know what you guys think and I am doing a giveaway very soon. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, take it easy.